And welcome back everyone to another episode of Civil War Generals 2. Last episode we ended up flying off at Vicksburg and now we're here at the Battle of Chickamauga. Because I can never actually pronounce this place properly. So, ideally what the game has told us to do is that I should try to concentrate all of my forces, which is probably what I'm going to try and do. Especially considering the fact that this, especially this northern group, is not in a great position. What I might try to do is actually kind of hold off somewhere in this region. Hold the center and hold the south. If I can or if absolute need be, I'll just kind of hold on to the south. So that's ideally what I'd be able to end up doing. They have a absolute crap ton of cavalry. Like, oh my god, they have a lot of cavalry. And there's going to be this dude right over here too, who's kind of in my way. But you know what? Stuff happens. Now, there aren't all that... <coughs> excuse me. There's not too many super important battle flags around here. Some neutral stuff, but nothing that's overtly important. Like, I mean, this one's like the highest value. But that's really about it. Everything else here, there's not much. So, hopefully how we have it set up will be perfectly and utterly okay. I need to have the train height on for at least a little bit, though, to kind of figure out what I want to try and do. So my original plan was to like move these people across here and like have a defense line along here, but I don't really want to give them the center like that. Now it might be a smart thing to do, but I mean they could also just, you know, completely come around here and kind of, you know, do whatever the hell they want. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually end up moving some of these people out for at the very least. Now, when I first load this up, the uh CFL had been had been corrupted, but you know, for right now it should be okay. I hope. I say that, and then that man utterly misses his first shot. Way, way, way to go, man. Way to go. I'm essentially just going to try to get some of these men off. Primarily keep them on the roads, because my god, having them not in the roads is like near impossible. You know, move. And you, you're a puny seven. Seven pounder. Seven inch gun. I don't even remember which one you are specifically at the moment. Now here, the Confederacy doesn't have much in the way of powerful men. At, um really here at all. I mean, they've got a lot, but they don't have anyone that's, like, super-duper powerful. Uh, I think the heist is actually a 21 firepower. Well, they have a few 21 firepower, but that's really about... Oh! <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh god, he's got 99 firepower. No, that's just a graphical glitch that happens. <laughs> like, if that was the case, we would be doomed. We would not survive 99 firepower. No one could. Uh, you're a howitzer, aren't you? No, you're a seven inch. I mean, I can go ahead and deploy you there. I don't think you'll have, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'll have, like, this range. That's not particularly good. I don't want you any lower because then you're not even going to hit uh, anything above. So I might go ahead and actually just try to get you over, even though it's going to take a while. All of you, I do I really want to push you guys much forward? I'm not sure what I want to exactly do. They're not going to come this way, and you're a bad gun for this area. If I get you, like, down over here or, like, here, you'd be a lot in a lot better position. But that's going to take a while, so... We'll just see what happens. Now, I have actually played this map as the Union. It's been... 20... 13 or so when I last did it because I actually recorded a Union campaign back in 2013. I know I've been doing this for a long time. Do not judge me. But uh, with how long it's been, I don't actually want to have one cavalry unit somewhere up here. That would be a smart thing to do. I got some pretty meaty cavalry too. I have a much meatier than anything that the Confederacy has at the moment. I think their highest is like 16. If we had a 14, got 19. So we got a highest is a 19. Right? Yep. A lot of cavalry, a lot of sharpshooters too. I mean, they have a big mix of units. I don't. I Granted, I think I get like a sharp, sh not a sharpshooter, like an engineer unit for, you know, no reason here. That's really about it. Now, you guys, I might deploy you directly in front. Because none of you can beat the uh, two man, the two men up directly. So let's just go ahead and do that. Yep, everyone move forward. Everyone can move forward. Yeah, screw it. Go and take that flag. Why not? Gotta get those victory hikes while we got the chance, man. Even though they'll magically disappear, which doesn't make any sense. How do they just go up into poof of smokes beyond me? But 
Who cares? Stuff happens. Yeah, they're probably gonna send a whole lot of their... I mean, the senders kind of were like everyone kind of congregates, so... I might actually try to just maybe hold on to the, the original ridge. I'm still not 100% sure. Don't know 100%, so we'll just have to kind of see. Again, they've got a lot of units moving around, so... I also am not certain if they get reinforcements. I can check that really quick. But I don't remember if they do or not. Once this is over, I'll go and actually check that. Yep, they're, so they're going to attack my unit directly head on, which is fine. Ideally, the unit over there would have been a howitzer. You know, the, the, the this artillery man would have been a howitzer, but no, P cannot be a howitzer. Are you a how? First, I'm like, if you were a howitzer, I was going to be mad. Yeah, you don't have much in the way of actual men down here. That's fine. Yep, here's the mul the bulk of their cavalry, and you just sat there. Why did you just sit there? But do you have reinforcements? So yes, they do indeed. They gain a little bit of reinforcements. They, as you know, they gain they gain some reinforcements. Okay, so we both do. Great, <laughs> just what I wanted. I mean, if they're going to kind of ignore you, I mean, they've got... They do have their horse artillery, and horse artillery is essentially howitzers, just with less range. So yeah, just go ahead and move. Just go and move on the road. Just get out of there while you got the chance. Alright, buddy. Let's go and try this again. Do not miss this time. Thank you. You didn't miss. Now I'm going to go and charge you out if I can. Go and use the points. There you go, now you feel like crap. I hope you enjoy. You go ahead and move out. This music might be a little bit too loud, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. I've whenever I like end up playing it back, it's like you can barely hear anything, so it's kind of a problem. You move through there, you go ahead and set up. You move a little bit closer. You're not a Oh no, you are a howitzer, so go ahead and deploy here. That's actually a really good range for you. I'll deploy... I mean, if I deploy you... Can I set you up there? That's a pretty decent... That's a good enough range for me. I'm happy with that. I can stomach that. Go ahead and move only you more forward. I mean, I could go ahead and send this cavalry unit like, around and do some jazz. I could try to steal some of your flags, I guess, if I really wanted to. That may not be a bad idea. I see as I go ahead and just send these students out on their own. Oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? I didn't see you there. I hope you don't mind my cavalry going like, Boo, I am here now. And it's like, lol, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I don't know, I'm doing something. Here, have a... I mean, I could also go ahead and like shoot some of these people, but here. Have a cannon. I hope you enjoy it. I made it especially for you. And... Going back up. <laughs> Just the back up. I mean, I could also go ahead and probably do this too, which, again, is probably something why I did. Just kind of, like, hold this direct little path. Probably not the smartest, but you know what? I don't care. It's gonna work. If, you know, I... If I dream well enough. And I'm not... Well, I mean, I, I had a really weird dream where, you know, of all things, a, 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 somebody I know from YouTube, I'm like, holy shit, I haven't even talked with you in forever. Why the fuck are you in my dream? Hacks! Cheats! Only not really. Only not really. Anything? Nope. That was good for this turn. Let's go and see what happens next turn. How about? You know, it'd really suck if real life was like this where it was all turn-based. I'd be annoyed. I don't even know who I'd be annoyed at. I mean, maybe I blame the corporation, or maybe maybe something else. I'd be like, "Hey, boss, why did you know how how'd you get this job?" Or so well, I was I was about to quote not Stanley. I have not watched that in a year. I'm surprised he attacked me, and I'm surprised he did more damage to me. Oh well. <laughs> no, I've not watched not Stanley in years. I wonder if he made any new ones. It's a, maybe by the same guy that made Salad Fingers. Years ago, like five? Has it been five years? It may have actually been longer than five years. Just wow. So you can't even you can't hit anybody. You cannot. You literally are unable to hit it. Where the fuck did you go? I'm like, where did you go? 
No, you get over here. You are not gonna just sidestep me like that. Uh-uh. Hell no. It is not gonna happen. And you know, if you're gonna go and just sit here, here. Have an attack. Attack didn't do much. Good to know. You, who's big and powerful? I mean, if you can't hit me back... I'm going to do that. And I was going to say, if he somehow managed to hit me... Actually, no, I want to get you on the road. There. I was forgetting you to do that. You go ahead and station yourself out along here. I'm probably not going to be able to do much in the way of surrounds here, just because of the nature of the map. Do I want to move you directly forward? Sure. Go ahead. You dig in. I might have... I might have to move somebody out. I'll probably move this artillery battery directly forward. Onto this unit, maybe, or on somebody that's nearby, that wouldn't be a horrible idea. Really? Oh, I hate you. Damn it! I want to attack you, but I can't! I mean, I can't attack them if I want to be a git. Uh, here. Have a cannon. I hope you enjoy. I made it specially for you. Go and deploy you directly up. You go and sit over here and deploy. You sit over here, and I can't... How much movement does this take? Uh, two, two, so... So it'd be, uh, 16, 14, 12, attack. Yeah, don't go there. Or... Go there. That should be okay. F I could see him doing that, but no, just go ahead and move there instead. Do Calvary... Yes, do Calvary good. Perfect English, I know. Do not question me. Have a can. God damn it! Why are you failing so bad? You're not. You're not. A, you're not a good person. Let me tell you. When you attack these people, no. No, just go and attack them. Done with you, really quick. Go ahead, and I can't even attack you directly. Can I charge with you? No. Can I charge with you? Sure, go ahead and spend the point. Oh, I didn't see that. You saw nothing. Just my inability to read is exactly what, uh, what escaped me there. Do I have enough for a surround if I could get you down anywhere quick enough? Which I'm not going to be able to, which will suck. I mean, there's just a cavalry unit here. Just here. No, I'm not going to charge him out. Here. Thank you. Go ahead and attack you too. Thank you. And I'm not even going to... I'm not gonna try with that. Just go ahead and rest here, I guess. I mean, ideally, I'd, I really wish I had a cavalry unit directly up here to get rid of these. Because, man, do those things. Are they a pain in the ass? But I decided to move them in a different location. So if I station you up there, are you even gonna get a good shot on people? I don't know. Go and try it anyway, though. No worry, Corps Commander's here to save the day. Only not really, because, you know... He's a core commander, and core commanders tend to not know what the hell they're doing. You just look at Sherman attacking Vicksburg uh, the first time around. I do get reinforced. Oh, I actually think I get reinforcements behind their main lines. Come to think of it, it may not be directly where I am. Yep, you want to hand shot me? So yeah, this it's going to be a little bit chaotic. I admit. In terms of allying, they have a lot more men, but since I'm kind of like funneling them, it was going to work a lot better. I hope. Cured me and I hope. <laughs> it may or may not. Alright, so, hi. Lot of cavalry, hi. You, god, you I hate the fact that you're that type of gun. Here, you. If you fail me again, I will fire you, Mr. Burnham. God damn. Can I, can I even do that? Can I do that? Can, can I do this? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You. Can I? I can't. I, fuck, I can't dismiss him. Damn it. <laughs> I don't even know why the screen is here, by the way. I, I don't know why you have the option to come here. Because you, you, you can't... You can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't do it. I don't know why you have that option. I will kill you, though. I will make a note. Somehow. I don't have any paper on me. I will make a note that you will be fired. Because my god, are you bad. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, I've got to keep moving. Yep, there's some cavalry people. I might... Oh, it's going to be so painful attacking that horse artillery, though. Especially on, you know, these sorts of areas. I don't want to move you anywhere near this cavalry unit, though, but I can't do much with you other... If I station you here, you have nothing. Good to know! Why you're even stationed here in the first place is beyond me, but I'll... Oh, that was your movement. Here, just go move there, I guess. I don't want you really any closer. It's gonna take me two turns to get through. Oh, this is gonna suck. You might not be in a good straight, in a good, in a good path, man. I will admit. Don't worry, I will come save the day. Oh, for a sound like you're already that badly hurt. Oh, here you are, you stupid sharpshooters. Get out of here. Leave. Yeah, you're gonna go and attack me? No, I don't think you're gonna go in and try and attack me. What are you doing unlimbered? You're being a stupid idiot man, savage. Here, have a cannonball. And you know what? Here, have some men. You not have much in your unit, I will admit. Let's keep pushing forward. Hey you, you wanna go in and have some fun here? Have some fun with that one dude. You kind of have an okay-ish attack angle. I'm not gonna use you worth a damn, though. Like that. Except, I mean, it's just with how foresty and hilly and tree it is, I'm not gonna get much better. I mean, unless I, like, directly move you, but with your gun, I can't do... I mean, if I could bring you over and, like, shoot you from behind... Yeah, I should've probably... Let's go ahead and try that. How about then? I, I can't even do that, because you're already unlimbered. Whatever! I can't even undo the unlimbering. Doesn't matter. Corps Commander, here. Join the fun. Have some fun. By the order of Her Majesty and Glory, have fun. Or, you know, have some good eats. Hey, here you are. Hello! Goodbye! Hi, for a second I thought they had already routed and I would have laughed my ass off. Here, have a cannon. You going to keep on resting up, buddy? Do your job. Do your country proud. No, I didn't even have anything else to say besides that. Just do your country proud. I believe in you, even though I have no reason to. I believe you will do justice. Can you even hit me? You can't hit me either. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Can you hit me, Mr. 99 Firepower Man? No, you cannot. Do they... Do you have any regular cannon that can hit me? Regular cannon... Regular cannon. No, no, they they only have the horse artillery. I mean, granted, I love har horse artillery in this game. You uh, do not see the conf uh, the Union having much in the way of horse artillery, though. Really, only Confederacy. Horse artillery allows you to move the unit and deploy it at the same time, or deploy and fire it at the same time, I believe. At least move and um, move and shoot. Here. So, okay, shot the sharpshooters. That one's okay, too. I at least hit somebody that wasn't my own men. At least not yet. At least, at least not yet. Okay, I'm gonna keep on attacking me, that's fine. They're starting to send some men up north. Not so fine. I may have actually wanted to keep that man stationed there. That may have been a smart thing, all things considered. Yep, you went and attacked the unit with the artillery piece on it, which is what I expected. So that center might actually be a, a big main push. 